If you're a frequent watcher of television movies, you may have often noticed how doomsday movies appear on your screen. Modern filmmaking produces dramatic, realistic disaster movies. The 2018 Jurassic Park sequel, Fallen Kingdom, featured a dangerous volcano. The 2017 movie, Geostorm, saw its heroes fighting worldwide climate disruption. Such movies warn us of cosmocide and the end of the world. Perhaps you've seen those or others, such as Pandemic, The Day After Tomorrow, Deep Impact, Asteroid, Andreas, or Armageddon. Are any of these disaster films portraying a real future? We don't need to look too far into the past to see the reality of devastating disasters. In the summer of 2018, record fires ravaged thousands of square miles in California, destroying the city of Paradise with a population of 27,000. Fires spread at the speed of 50 miles per hour, killing scores who had no chance of escape. And who can forget the record-destroying Boxing Day tsunami in South Asia that killed more than 225,000 in December 2004? The 9-11 terrorist attacks on the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. and the World Trade Center in New York City still, to this day, symbolize global terrorism. Will the Earth survive at all? Your Bible reveals specific events leading to the end of this age. We are living in the end of the age of man's grand experiment of governing himself. Can the 193 member states of the United Nations ever find the way to world peace? My friends, world history should give you the answer. World War II, less than 80 years ago, first introduced us to the danger of nuclear cosmocide. Nuclear, biological, and chemical threats continue to this day. Have you considered the prospect of ultimate doomsday for planet Earth? What does your Bible predict? Matthew 24, verses 21 and 22. For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time, no, nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Who will shorten those days to save us? Your Bible reveals that the Messiah, the Savior of the world, will return to this earth to prevent total cosmocide. Your Bible also predicts the awesome good news of a new world government under the King of Kings, Jesus Christ. Yes, the greatest event in modern history may happen in your lifetime, the second coming of Jesus Christ to establish real world peace among all nations and to bring about prosperity for all peoples. There are prophetic signs helping us prepare for that great event. On today's program, we'll be offering you a vital, inspiring, and revealing study guide, 14 Signs Announcing Christ's Return. Be sure to order your free copy. What signs should you be watching for? My friends, these signs are now rapidly coming to pass. You need to know the signs of the second coming. Keep watching. Warm greetings to all our friends around the world. My friends, I'm sure you've heard of Jesus Christ as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, but He is also called the Prince of Peace. That's in Isaiah 9, verse 6. Our world desperately needs the peace only Christ can bring. Will you be ready to meet Him when He comes? And how will you know when He is coming? What are the prophetic signs you need to know? We'll be answering those questions on today's program and we'll be offering you an inspiring free study guide, 14 Signs Announcing Christ's Return. Be sure to write down the contact information to request your free copy. How will you know when Christ will return? Let's consider seven signs of the second coming. Sign number one, increasing danger of nuclear war. The combined power of mankind's nuclear weapons could destroy all human life on Earth several times over. This chart shows the estimated number of nuclear warheads nine nations possess. They are Russia, the United States, France, China, the United Kingdom, Israel, India, Pakistan, and North Korea. According to the Arms Control Association, as of June 2018, 
the United States had 6,550 nuclear warheads and Russia had 6,850. And now both countries are determined to increase, not decrease, their nuclear development, according to an NPR report dated February 2nd, 2019. The Trump administration said Friday that the United States will formally begin the process of withdrawing from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, the Cold War Arms Control Accord with Russia, a move that prompted Russia to announce its own withdrawal on Saturday. Here is how the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists described the present danger. The current situation in which intersecting nuclear, climate, and information warfare threats all go insufficiently recognized and addressed when they are not simply ignored or denied is unsustainable. The longer world leaders and citizens carelessly inhabit this new and abnormal reality, the more likely the world is to experience catastrophe of historic proportions. The book of Revelation in your Bible also warns of a coming global catastrophe of historic proportions. Revelation, the ninth chapter, describes a huge army moving west across the Euphrates River with great military power. Revelation 9, verse 16. Now the number of the army of the horsemen was 200 million. I heard the number of them, and thus I saw the horses in the vision. Those who sat on them had breastplates of fiery red, hyacinth blue, and sulfur yellow. And the heads of the horses were like the heads of lions, and out of their mouths came fire, smoke, and brimstone. By these three plagues, a third of mankind was killed by the fire and the smoke and the brimstone which came out of their mouths. Yes, as shocking as it may seem, one third of mankind will die in a future world war. My friends, watch for development of nuclear capabilities on the world scene. Sign number one for the second coming, increasing danger of nuclear war. Sign number two you need to watch for, earthquakes and other natural disasters. In April of 2016, the nation of Ecuador suffered a 7.8 magnitude quake, killing at least 400 people. The previous week, Japan was struck by an earthquake measuring 7.3 on the Richter scale. The Daily Express reported the following headline, Fears of the Big One as Seven Major Earthquakes Strike Pacific Region in Just 96 Hours. The article reported, Scientists fear a monster earthquake could be about to strike after seven earthquakes in just 96 hours struck the Pacific region, killing hundreds of people. My friends, are you prepared for disasters? Have you stored enough drinking water to last a week if your water source is cut off? Jesus himself predicted end-time earthquakes. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Remember the rider of the black horse represents famines that normally follow on the heels of war. The book of Revelation reveals an even greater earthquake yet to come. And there were noises and thunderings and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such a mighty and great earthquake as had not occurred since men were on the earth. Be sure to watch world events in the light of sign number two, earthquakes and other natural disasters. We'll continue with more prophetic trends in the next part of our program. But I'd like to offer you this inspiring free booklet titled 14 Signs Announcing Christ's Return. This booklet will give you the biblical signs and trends leading up to the second coming. You need to know your future. So click the link in the description right now and order your free copy of 14 Signs Announcing Christ's Return. Also remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another Tomorrow's World video. We've briefly discussed two signs announcing the return of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, to rule all nations on earth. What signs should you be watching for? Sign number one, increasing danger of nuclear war. Sign number two, earthquakes and other natural disasters. Prophetic sign number three is, an ascendant European Union seeks global primacy. Today, Europe is challenged by a massive refugee influx, religious violence, economic crises, and Great Britain's uncertain status. 
to recapture the prophesied power and grandeur of the ancient Roman Empire. Europe will need a strong and charismatic leader. This future power is described as a symbolic beast with seven heads and ten horns. God reveals its meaning in Revelation 17, verse 12. The ten horns which you saw are ten kings who have received no kingdom as yet, but they receive authority for one hour as kings with a beast. These are of one mind, and they will give their power and authority to the beast. Ten kings or kingdoms will support this charismatic leader, producing a powerful unifying force. But notice, there is also another world figure, also described as a beast. But this beast symbolically has two horns like a lamb. Let's read that in Revelation 13, verse 11. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and spoke like a dragon. And he exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence, and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. Listen to this. He performs great signs, so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. By contrast, this religious imposter will appear Christian, yet speak like a dragon. He will deceive billions with false miracles and signs. My friends, you need to watch for a respected religious figure who will influence the political and military superpower. Prophetic sign number four is, a powerful religious figure leads a religious revival. My friends, will you be deceived by a miracle-working religious figure? His miracle-working deceptions will cause billions to follow him in his false religion. Notice 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 9, The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders. Yes, the false prophet will even call down fire from heaven, as we saw in Revelation 13, verse 13. The Apostle Paul explains that this false prophet is a servant not of God, but of Satan. But notice that God will judge his lawlessness at the coming of the King of Kings, Jesus Christ. 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 8. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. My friends, you need to watch religious trends in Europe, where a great religious revival will persuade most people to practice a false and lawless religion. Prophetic sign number four, a powerful religious figure leads a religious revival. This in turn will lead to prophetic sign number five, the abomination of desolation. Jesus gave us this vital warning sign. In Matthew 24, verse 15, he stated, Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, whoever reads, let him understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. If you've read the books of Daniel and Matthew in your Bible, you may have been puzzled by the mysterious abomination of desolation. What is it, and what will it mean in end-time prophecy? Clearly, this is an important sign to understand. It signals the time when God's people are to flee to escape the final three-and-a-half-year sequence of devastating end-time prophetic calamities. Historically, the Greek ruler Antiochus Epiphanes issued a decree in 167 B.C. that prohibited the Jews from making sacrifices in the temple. Turn to Daniel 11, verse 31 and forces shall be mustered by him, and they shall defile the sanctuary fortress. Then they shall take away the daily sacrifices and place there the abomination of desolation. Historically, not only did Antiochus stop the daily sacrifices, he erected in the temple a statue of Jupiter Olympus and directed everyone to worship it. This event, also described in Daniel 8, prefigures a prophesied end-time milestone. Daniel 12 and verse 11. And from the time that the daily sacrifice is taken away and the abomination of desolation is set up, there shall be 1,290 days. Yes, my friends, 1,290 days before Jesus Christ's second coming, animal sacrifices will again be stopped. 
Jesus warns us as Christians to be alert to an end time abomination of desolation. Just as Antiochus Epiphanes profaned the temple in 167 BC and cut off the sacrifices, so will a profane authority cut off Jewish sacrifices in the future. My friends, watch for developments in Israel that will lead to the restoration of animal sacrifices by religious Jews. Watch for trends that will lead to an international treaty allowing these sacrifices. Prophetic sign number five is the abomination of desolation. We'll discuss more significant signs in the next part of our program. But first, be sure to request this most significant and vital free booklet we're offering today, 14 Signs Announcing Christ's Return. This booklet is free of charge. There's no cost or obligation. Just call the number on the screen or order online at our website, tomorrowsworld.org. Will you be taken by surprise? Or will you be able to identify the prophetic signs that are even now beginning to intensify? Listen to these prophetic signs you need to be watching. A crisis strikes Jerusalem. The collapse of the English-speaking nations, the Great Tribulation. The seven last plagues. And the gospel of the kingdom of God preached to all nations. My friends, you need to watch and pray always. This free booklet, 14 Signs Announcing Christ's Return, will help you in your Bible study and your vital preparation for the second coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. So call the number below or click the link in the description right now and order your free copy. The greatest event in modern history is coming soon, the second coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, to save the world from total destruction. You need to know the signs of His coming. So far in this program, we discuss five signs of the second coming. Prophetic sign number six, the gospel of the kingdom of God preached to all nations. Jesus gave this sign signifying the end of the age, the end of mankind's failed attempts to produce world peace. Matthew 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. You've been hearing that gospel on this program proclaiming tomorrow's world and the kingdom of God on earth. My friends, I hope you're praying for that kingdom to come as Jesus taught us in Matthew 6, verse 10. Yes, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, will be king over all nations, as it tells us in Zechariah 14, verse 9. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. Today's world of conflicts, oppressions, and wars will be replaced by the kingdom of God, the government of God. This very program is preaching that powerful message. Turn to Revelation 11, verse 15. Then the seventh angel sounded, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of His Christ, and He shall reign forever and ever. God speed that day. Prophetic sign number six is, The gospel of the kingdom of God preached to all nations. Many of you who watch world news and study Bible prophecy know that a future disturbance in the heavens will shock everyone on earth. This leads us to prophetic sign number seven, heavenly signs and the day of the Lord. Mankind loves to look to space and some of what we see is astounding. Do you remember the super blood wolf moon of January 2019? Every few years, lunar eclipses project vivid color on the usually gray moon. After one of those eclipses, NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, described the color as sunset red, or as the eclipse progressed, filling it with a coppery glow and transforming the moon into a great red orb. These lunar eclipses may remind us of a prophesied future cosmic disturbance described in Revelation 6, verse 12. Some Bibles label this section, Sixth Seal Cosmic Disturbances. Revelation 6 and verse 12. I looked when he opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became like blood. Continue reading in Revelation 6 verse 13. And the stars of heaven fell to the earth, as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. Then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. 
and the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave and every free man, hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. Listen to this. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? Notice, my friends, that these cosmic disturbances introduce the day of the Lord, the great day of His, Christ's wrath. God is warning us in advance of future judgments. The moon will be turned to blood and color, and the sun will become black and dark. Additionally, thousands of meteors will light up the sky. Prophetic sign number seven, heavenly signs and the day of the Lord. My friends, Judgment Day is coming on all nations of planet Earth. How can you be prepared? Request this vital free study guide, 14 Signs Announcing Christ's Return. This booklet is free of charge. There's no cost or obligation. Just call the number on the screen or order online at our website, tomorrowsworld.org. Will you be taken by surprise? Or will you be able to identify the prophetic signs that are even now beginning to intensify? Listen to these prophetic signs you need to be watching. A crisis strikes Jerusalem, the collapse of the English-speaking nations, the Great Tribulation, the seven last plagues, and the gospel of the kingdom of God preached to all nations. My friends, you need to watch and pray. This free booklet, 14 Signs Announcing Christ's Return, will help you in your Bible study as you prepare for the second coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. So click the link in the description right now and order your free copy. Also remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another Tomorrow's World video. On today's program, we've discussed seven vital signs warning of the Great Tribulation and the Day of the Lord leading up to the glorious second coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. How can you escape the judgment of those days? Your Savior and mine gives us this admonition in Luke 21, verse 34. But take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and cares of this life, and that day come on you unexpectedly, for it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch, therefore, and pray always, that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. My friends, will you be counted worthy to escape? Are you watching and praying? Is that your highest priority in life? What is your greatest goal in life? Your Bible gives us the most important and vital goal you should ever set in your life. Matthew 6, But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. We look forward to the second coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, to establish the kingdom of God on earth. My friends, you need to watch the trends and prophetic signs ahead. You need to read our inspiring free booklet, 14 Signs Announcing Christ's Return. There's much more vital information from Bible prophecy than we've had time for on this program. You will want to watch as these 14 signs increase in intensity. Be sure to request your copy of this vital free booklet. We invite you to join us every week on Tomorrow's World. In this world of growing chaos and confusion, you need the solid guidance that comes from your Bible. Gerald Weston, Wallace Smith, and I, along with guest presenter Rod McNair, will continue to share with you the teachings of Jesus Christ, the good news of the coming kingdom of God, and the exciting end time prophecies and their meaning. So be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another Tomorrow's World video.